Okay, hello there viewers. So let's try a square root graph and see how does it looks like. Okay, so if you put the values inside, okay, alright, so let me show you a bit where the, the axis over here, you will get this kind of values. As you can see a bit that if I put negative, like the negative value when I square root it, it will always be error. Yeah, you can see it's imaginary, but we're only drawing uh, all the numbers in this case. And then from here, square root 0 is 0. And if I put in the numbers, you can see the trend is positive, but it rises very slowly. You can see 10 until you got 3, 100, you got 10, and square root 1000, you got 31. So it doesn't rise quickly as it seems. So the graph, it looks in this way. Okay? And yes, as mentioned just now, it will rise very slowly. It goes there. The domain is from zero until infinity because I do not have a negative part because the negative will give me errors. And the range is zero until infinity. Uh, I always ask my student, is the zero reachable? Is zero square or, or uh, I mean, a close or open bracket? They always got confused. Some of them say open. Well, it's not that difficult. Just next time, if you got confused, just press in your calculator, square root zero, and if you got a value there, so yeah, it's a square bracket, All right? It's a close bracket. Okay, so let's move on. Now, what about if I do this? Square root x plus three, and square root x minus three, where the plus three and minus three is outside. As we have discussed just now, plus three and minus three, when it's outside, it will shift up or shift down. So you get your answers look something like this and there's a domain and the range as well the domain still remain the same and the range is from 3 to infinity for this one here the domain will remain the same but now it goes from negative 3 until infinity okay I'm gonna speed up a bit because I've explained the same concept multiple times in the previous videos now what about this way where you got yourself y equals to x plus 3 square root and square root x minus 3 where this, in this kind of case, the plus 3 and minus 3 is inside the square root. As I mentioned just now, as I mentioned in the previous vi videos, if plus 3 and minus 3 is inside the thing, inside the function, so you need to do, you need to calculate where inside equals to 0. For the left one here, the inside equals to 0, when, and then you got yourself x equals to minus 3. And this one here, you got yourself x equals to 3. So it will tell you the nature with shift la right or shift left. For x equals to negative 3, it shifts to the left. This one here, x equals to 3, it shifts to the right. So the graph looks something in like this. Okay? The domain for this case is since I shift to the left, it starts from negative 3 until infinity. The range remains the same because the graph doesn't move up or down. For x minus 3 modul uh, square root, the graph, since I shift to the right, so the domain is 3 until infinity and the range remains the same because it doesn't shift up or shift down. Okay. Now, this is far more complicated than it seems. And I would like to advise you, please watch it very carefully. Okay. If you don't understand, please just comment down below. Alright, for if the negative is outside of the square root, what will happen? Well, as I mentioned before, if negative is outside, it just shift up or shift down. I mean, it's just flip from up to down. You can see far more clearly over here. We got ourselves that the calculation is still remain the same, but the negative is just multiplied to it. So instead of you got yourself just now, it's three uh, square root of ten, three point one six two. Negative we multiply to it, so we got negative. So the graph goes down here. Okay, but this one where the negative inside of the square root, things got a little bit far more complicated. And please listen very carefully. You need to understand, uh, the x values can still be positive or negative. If the x is positive, let's say x is 1. If I negative, now I multiply negative, negative 1 square root. And I cannot square root a negative numbers. So if x is negative, negative times negative, got positive. So now I can multiply. Uh, square root uh, positive numbers so we got ourselves something like this okay when x is negative 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 we got positive and you can square root it you got 31.62 but if x is positive then yeah, I multiply by negative it remain a negative now this is where it's errors right so the graph 
Remember, when x is negative, I got the answers. When x is positive, I no longer do got the answers. It's error. So the graph goes, boom, the other side of direction. And at this case as well, you can see the domain is from negative and infinity until zero. And the range is zero until infinity. Things have gone a bit weird. So it moves to the left side. All right? Okay, so now what happens if we have negative outside and negative inside? Do remember that this is the wrong answer. I've, I've seen people who say that, oh, negative, negative, if positive, sir, we got this one. No, no, it doesn't work that way. Okay, because the negative of inside a square root cannot cross outside. And the negative outside square root cannot cross inside. Alright, so I still recommend you try them out the values first and you see. Uh, we can put this negative the outside as a closed one. So negative, negative become positive, negative, negative become positive. So this one we can square root it for the negative value of x. But the positive value of x it will give you errors because well, you cannot square root negative. So this one we got our answers and remember the negative outside multiply it out. Okay, so instead of positive, it gives you negative. And the graph will look this way. Boom. And in this case, the domain is from negative infinity until zero, and the range is from negative infinity until zero. Well, you might be have a little bit of head scratch. Uh, how does it looks like? Well, this is a summary of all of them. Oopsie. And I highly recommend you please digest it out first. Okay. Once you get the idea, then we can only move on. Well, there is a technique where other t other lecturers may give it a try and say to you, you might wonder how does it goes. Well, remember the first one, it goes this way. Okay, if the negative is inside, then you shift to the left. It goes this way. If the negative is outside, then it shift from up to down. It flip from up to down. And we said both. If it has negative from both outside and inside, then it goes. Most likely in this way. Okay, remember negative inside, so it flip to the left. Negative outside, it flip to the right. And this one we got both, so it will flip to the this quadrant. Okay, so now let's see how it goes. You may try pause the video for you to figure it out. Okay, and I'll review you the answers. Okay, if you're ready, so let's try figure out how the, the graph looks like and find the mode and and find the dim, domain and range as well. Okay, remember that when negative is outside, so the graph is. Uh, flip down okay negative outside graph flip down plus 3 and minus 3 here it will either this one it shift up and this one is shift down okay so if that starts a bit so since the negative is outside it goes this way so now it's either up or down boom that's how we do okay you may pause the video if you want to read further I will go on now what about this one here uh, the negative still remains outside, so the graph still remains this way. But since the plus 3 and minus 3 is inside, as I mentioned multiple times, you need to calculate the inside equals to 0. Okay? So for this kind of case, inside equals to 0, so x plus 3 equals to 0, so x equals to negative 3. So it means it's going to shift left, so this graph is going to shift left. This one here, x minus 3 equals to 0, so x equals to 3, so it's going to shift to the right. Okay? So let's have a look on the graph. Boom. Okay. You may pause the video if you want to read further down. So go I'm moving on. Okay, now what about here? Where the plus three minus three and still the same. The negative is inside just now. We have thought just now if negative is inside, so it sh it flip to the left. It goes here. And then plus three minus three it will shift up or shift down. Boom. That's the answer. Okay? You may pause the video if you want to read further. Now moving on. Now what about this? Where this time we got ourselves minus x plus 3 minus x minus 3 inside the square root. As I mentioned multiple times, if the plus 3 and minus 3 is inside the square root, so you, you need to calculate where inside equals to 0. And here where things got a bit tricky. Okay? In this case, you got yourself x minus x plus 3 equals to 0 so x equals to 3 and here same thing if we do minus x minus 3 equals to 0 so x is equals to negative 3 so this one here you can see it shift to the right 
this one here negative it shift to the left so my advice to you is this you can check the previous case normally if you do plus three inside we will we will move shift to the left and when we do minus three it always shift to the right but it doesn't hold the case in all the time so that's why i highly recommend you calculate inside equals to zero and this kind of graph is what you will get definitely have calculated that <laughs> okay so you may pause the video if you want to read further check whether the domain means you got it right as well okay now what about this one where i got negative both inside and outside so if i have both negative inside and outside the graph goes something in this direction and remember when it's a plus three shift up negative three outside so it's shift down okay so you this kind of graph you will get okay and what about this okay so let's have a look for this one here with a plus three and minus three where it's inside and remember that's a negative negative uh, inside and outside as well and remember what i mentioned just now that with a plus three or negative three inside so you're gonna shift left or shift right the best way for you to calculate is for you to check it out first where inside equals to zero all right so in this case negative x plus 3 I'm sorry my pen is running out negative x plus 3 equals to 0 so you got yourself x equals to negative 3 sorry x equals to 3 and for this one here negative x minus 3 equals to 0 so you got yourself as a x equals to negative 3 as you can see this one here x positive 3 so it shift to the right this one here since i got negative so it shift to the left okay that's how you got the answers okay so this is the final question for this video well, it's a quiz for you try to figure it out how does it looks like show me the graph and find the domain and range okay if you have pause or you would like to see the answers right so let's begin there are multiple way of solving this question i can do it in without the x okay so if you're ready so this is the quiz and let's try and solve it up okay uh, for me i'll firstly do this inside case first and as i mentioned if, if you remember this graph so it will go in this direction negative inside so it will go here okay and then i put the plus five so i calculate inside equals to zero negative x plus five so x equals to five so it will shift to the right and after i calculate that then only i calculate the negative outside here so remember when there's outside the negative outside so it flipped down so i got that okay yeah over here you can also calculate it out you can see that when x equals to zero so we got here as square root five so here we got ourselves as negative square root five okay now finally only we do this negative three remember this negative three is shift up or shift down since it's outside so now it shifted down okay you can see over here negative square root 5 minus 3 or you may want to press your calculators to get decimals so yeah the domain since it only goes until here negative infinity and 5 and the highest value you can go is from the range is negative infinity until negative 3 okay hopefully you have fun with that all right so next video will be about exponent Please comment, share that and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave your comment below and I'll answer them for you. Okay? Thank you for watching. Bye.